Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. Somerset Academy takes on West Broward High tonight on School Duel. Welcome to another exciting episode of School Duel, where close to 60 high schools from Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach counties competed to be part of the show. Now, the top 20 schools made it to the televised rounds where they battle it out in an academic tournament for South Florida bragging rights. And, of course, the winners walk away with a school trophy from Edco, a $1,000 check for each student courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union and Chick-fil-A, and continuing this season, each team advancing to the semifinals qualifies for the National Academic Championship. Now, details on this competition are at QUnlimited.com. All right, with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. As you see, the second round game matches Somerset Academy versus West Broward High in what is going to be quite a showdown. Now, the winner between the two schools will be moving on to the quarterfinals. So let's hear it for our two competitors. Yeah. All right. But of course, there's more because during the show, each student will compete in the Chick-fil-A Challenge. Now, that's where the student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Sounds delicious? Yeah. Christina's like, yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our first round is called the warning shot. Here, it's school against school competing with toss-up questions directed at the entire group. Now, each question is worth 10 points, and if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school gets one chance to steal the points. All right, schools, it's time to prepare for the warning shot. Your first question deals with pandas. The giant panda is not like other bears. It doesn't do this during the winter time. What do you call, Matthew? Hibernation. Correct, good job. <laughs> Gonna move on to question in art. It was originally titled The Poet and designed to honor the Italian poet, yes, Scott? The thinker. The thinker is correct. <laughs> wow, you got that one quickly. All right, let's move on to novels. Perseus was called the first whale man in this famous Herman Melville novel. Christina. The old man in the sea. Incorrect, West Broward. Scott. Moby Dick. Correct. All right, we're gonna move on to baseball. Name this major league baseball team who played the Giants in the 2014 World Series. It is known for its Hall of Fame. Yes, Paul. Kansas City Royals. Yes, you are correct. All right, moving on to wars. The novels, The Quiet American, and The LBJ Brigade were all set during what 20th century war that pitted two bordering Asian nations over Anthony? The Korean War. Incorrect, Wes Broward. Yes. Vietnam War. Yes, Colin? The Vietnam War. Yes, awesome job. All right, we're gonna move on to jewelry. This oxide is colorless and relatively hard, making it an excellent substitute for diamonds. Name this substance that contains a chemical element. Yes, Matthew? Zirconia. Correct, good job. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I question brought to you by Broward County School's Centennial Anniversary. Now, this is where our contestants will be given a clue about something or someone and then shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. The first school to buzz in and answer correctly, of course, will get the points. Here's your question. The Shalomo is one register of this instrument that has a bass version and is less popular. Yes, Alyssa. A clarinet. Clarinet is correct, good job. And a little tidbit about the clarinet, it's also known as the little trumpet and the licorice stick. And Mozart was the first major composer to add music written specifically for it. Great job. All right, we're gonna move on to spelling. It means the state of being away from a place or person, spell, absence. Yes, Christina? A-B-S-E-N-C-E. -E. Good job, awesome. All right, now 
National Parks split by the Continental Divide. Rocky Mountain National Park contains 72 named peaks higher than 12,000 feet. Which state would you be in to visit Rocky Mountain National Park? Paul? Colorado. You're right. Good job. All right, we're going to move on to the law. A doctor might be one when he talks about surgery, and a forensic scientist in a murder case could be one when talking about the path of a bullet. Name this type of witness in a legal trial who testifies about Scott? Expert witness. Correct. Awesome. <laughs> Moving on to government organizations. Organized after World War II, it claims a key role in eradicating smallpox and German measles from the U.S. Scott? The World Health Organization. Incorrect. Somerset, I'll finish reading the question for you. It claims a key role in eradicating smallpox and German measles from the U.S. Name this federal agency based in Atlanta with the abbreviations CDC. Anthony. The Center for D Disease Control. Correct. Good job. All right, fish. The Agnatha class of fish lack what bodily structure? Thus, their sharp teeth can't move up or down. Yes, Anthony? Bone. Incorrect, West Broward, Paul? Jaws. Yes. Oh, there's that buzzer, exciting game, and that brings an end to the morning shot round. We do have West Broward leading with 70 points. Somerset's not far behind, they have 50 points. So don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel just after these messages. Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. Improve your money skills with Bright Star University. At Bright Star University, people of all ages can log in to learn more about finances. Just choose your age-specific category and pick from a collection of interactive financial topics, including the Visa Financial Football Game, where your team scores by answering money management questions. Just go to www.brightstaru.com. Bright Star University is brought to you by Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. and welcome back to School Duel. Now our first round of action ended with West Broward leading. They have 70 points. Somerset is right behind them. They have 50 points. Now before we begin the second round, let's go ahead and take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. And let's start with the Somerset Academy Panthers. Welcome. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start with Anthony, who's a senior. Now my question today for you, Anthony, and everyone else here is, is there a special teacher that you'd like to give a shout out to? There sure is. Miss um, Vasquez, my AP English literature teacher, she's awesome, and she's made English an absolute pleasure this year. Oh, that's awesome. That was a very nice shout out. All right, Alyssa's right next to you. She's a senior. Go ahead and follow up with that. Hi, I would like me to make a shout out to Miss Phi, our lovely sponsor. She's like the best person. Aw, that's very sweet. And next to you, we have Matthew, who's a senior as well. Matthew, who are you shouting out? I'm shouting out Miss Stewart, my SGA sponsor and our school's activities director. She's like a second mother to me. That's awesome. So. Beautiful. Now the captain of Somerset's team is Christina, who's a senior. The floor is all yours, Christina. I'd love to give a shout out to Miss Acevedo. She, I love her so much, and she's helped me out so much through the years, so thank you. Aw, that sounds beautiful. All right, now let's go ahead and meet Somerset's competitors. They are the West Broward Bobcats. Welcome. We're going to start with Colin. Colin, you're a senior. Is there a teacher that's made an impression in your life and you'd like to give them a shout out? Uh, yes, I'd like to make a shout out to my English teacher, Mr. Borsch. Uh, he's made English just a fantastic uh, class for me this year. Uh, Mr. Borsch, I just uh, want to say uh, 
You're amazing, and I look forward to reading Hamlet. Oh, that's awesome. All right, Nicholas, you have to follow that up. Go uh, my ahead. NHS advisor, Ms. Zorn, she's been great for this club, and we're doing well. Awesome. All right. Next to Nicholas is Paul, who's a senior. Paul, who are you going to shout out? Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Miss Rice. She is my, uh, not my teacher, but my robotics sponsor. And uh, I've been to, uh, gosh, so many cities with her. Atlanta, St. Louis, all for robotics. And it's been a blast. Wow, it sounds amazing. Great experience. And last but not least, we do have the captain of West Broward's team. His name is Scott, and he's a senior. Go ahead, Scott. Floor is yours. I don't know what to say. I like all my, I don't know one teacher to pick. They're all so amazing. So they're all, that's so sweet. That's very special that all your teachers are special to you. And we'd like to thank, of course, we'd like to thank all of our teachers, Dave Broward and Palm Beach, for what they do every day, educating our youth. And we're appreciative of that. And now that we know everyone, let's go ahead and move on to round two, the joust. Here, one player from each school competes head-to-head -head with a 10-point toss-up question. The player that wins then gets three bonus questions with their school, worth five, then 10, and then 15 points. All right, schools, are you ready? Yes, no? All right, because it's time to joust. Scott, Christina, come on down. All right, here's your toss-up question, worth 10 points. There are many literary people honored in the poet's corner of England's Westminster Abbey, including this famous playwright known for writing Macbeth and Hamlet. Yes, Scott? William Shakespeare. Correct, good job. All right, Wes Broward. The following bonus questions deal with literary people honored in poet's corner. Name them from their works. Bonus question number one is worth five points. Name this woman who wrote Pride and Prejudice and Sense and Sensibility, Paul? Jane Austen. Correct, awesome. Bonus question number two, worth 10 points. Name this man best known for writing The Jungle Book. Yes, Scott? Upton Sinclair. I'm sorry, the answer is Ruyard Kipling. Bonus question number three, worth 15 points. He was the first poet to be entered in Poet's Corner and is best known for writing The Canterbury Tales. Name him. Yes, Scott? Chaucer. Correct, awesome job. We're gonna move on to Paul and Matthew. Come on down, it is your turn to joust. All right, gentlemen, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. This singer's album, 1989, shares its name. Yes, Matthew? Taylor Swift. Correct, good job. All right, Somerset, the following bonus questions all deal with Taylor Swift. Bonus question number one is worth five points. Name the Taylor Swift song that tells us Heartbreaker's gonna break, 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 and the faker's gonna, Christina? Shake it off. Correct, good job. Here's your second bonus question worth 10 points. Which number song is named after Taylor's age during her eventful, Christina? 22. Incorrect, it would be 15. I, if I would have continued the question, I would have said during her eventful freshman year at Hendersonville High School. It's okay, we have another bonus question for you, and this one's worth 15 points. Taylor's song, Breathe, was co-written with and features this female singer whose own hits include, yes, Christina? Colby Callier. Correct, good job. All right, Alyssa, Nicholas, come on down. It's your turn to joust. Here's your toss of question worth 10 points. This animal's teeth contain small amounts of iron that keep them from decaying. Name this rodent that carries wood between its teeth when building dams. Yes, Alyssa? A beaver. Correct, good job. And we are back with Somerset. The following bonus questions all deal with beavers. Bonus question number one, of course, is worth five points. What is the collective name for a group of beavers? It can also be used for a group of ants. Christina? A colony. Correct, good job. Bonus question number two is worth 10 points. Because beaver's teeth contain iron, it protects this substance on the outside of teeth that normally decays. Yes, Matthew? Enamel. Correct, awesome job. <laughs> Bonus question number three is worth 15 points. One of the primary reasons beavers build dams is to surround their home with water for protection. What is the term used for a beaver's home? Anthony. A lodge. Yes, sir, good job. <laughs> And our next player is Anthony Collin. Come on down, it is your turn to joust. <laughs> Gentlemen, here's your toss-up question, worth 10 points. Identify the reef in the Coral Sea just off the Australian coast. Yes, Anthony? The Great Barrier Reef. Correct, good job. <laughs> we are back with Somerset. 
The following bonus questions all deal with Australia. Bonus question number one is worth five points. Name the herbivorous marsupials of Australia with powerful hind legs and sturdy tails. Alyssa? A kangaroo. Correct. Here's your second bonus question worth 10 points. What group of indigenous people were very badly treated when Europeans first came to Australia? Yes, Anthony. The Aborigines. Correct. And your third bonus question worth 15 points. What hunting weapon is a strictly Australian creation? Alyssa. A boomerang? Yes, good job. Yeah. And that horn means the end to the joust. We do have Somerset now leading with 160 points. West Broward has 100 points. But don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. We love Magnet Program! From elementary to high school, Broward County Public Schools Magnet Programs provide extra opportunities and experiences for students in specific fields of study. International Baccalaureate, Military Academy, Montessori, Performance and Visual Arts, Sciences, and many others. The programs are free. Shop early for your child's education. Apply online today at BrowardSchools.com. Broward County Public Schools Magnet Programs. Missing school? You're missing out. Regular attendance equals education, and education equals success. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Hello and welcome back to School Duel, where local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's School Duel champion. Now this second round match has Somerset Academy competing against West Broward High. Somerset has taken the lead. They are now leading with 160 points, but West Broward has 100 points and they're coming for Somerset. We are now ready for the rapid fire round. During this round, the teams will receive a category of questions to answer within 60 seconds. Each question is worth 10 points and if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school will have the opportunity to steal the points. Now, since West Broward is trailing, they have the opportunity to pick their category. And today's choices are starts with C or starts with O. So which category would you like, West Broward? Starts with C. Starts with C. All right, Scott. Schools, here comes the rapid fire round. West Broward starts with C. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter C. Remember, you will have 60 seconds to answer these questions worth 10 points each. So cue music and let's begin. It's nicknamed the Windy City. Chicago. Examples include sugar, oatmeal, and black and white. Cereal. It flows to create electricity. Current. A pair of lines that make up a two-line poem. Couplet. It contains the seeds of a pine tree. Cone. Children's board game with gumdrop mountains and grandma nut. Candyland. A line segment between any two points on a circle. Cord. The first murderer in the Bible. Judas. Two word term for the death penalty. San Jose is the capital of this country. Paul? Costa Rica. All right. Good job, West Bar. We got through all of your questions. You missed three questions, so Somerset, let's see if you know the answer to these three. Examples include sugar, oatmeal, and black and white. Alyssa? Cookie. All right. Next question, the first murderer in the Bible. Yes, Alyssa? Cain. Correct. And the last one, two word term for the death penalty. Yes, Anthony? Capital punishment. Correct. Good job. Nice deal. All right, Somerset, your category is starts with O. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter O. Remember, you have 60 seconds to answer these questions worth 10 points each, so let's cue music and begin. An eight-sided figure in geometry. Octagon. To move back and forth as an electric fan. Oscillate. To perform surgery on someone. Operate. First name of Wilbur Wright's brother. Oswald. 
The last letter of the Greek alphabet? Omega. What is Canada's most populous province? Ontario. An angle greater than 90 degrees? Obtuse. Pearls are most commonly produced in what shell? Oyster. Who is the lead singer of the heavy metal group Black Sabbath? Give the surname of celebrity twins Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. All right, good job, Somerset. You got through all your questions. You've only missed two, Wes Broward. Let me see if you know the answer to these. First name of Wilbur Wright's brother. Orville. Yes, Scott. Orville. Good job. All right, and who is the lead singer of the heavy metal group Black Sabbath? Paul? Ozzy Osbourne. All right, good job. Nice steals on both sides, and there's our buzzer. That means the end of the rapid fire round. We do have Somerset holding on to their lead. They now have 270 points. Wes Broward has 190 points, but don't go anywhere. We're just going to take a short break, and then we'll be back for the final showdown. Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Improve your money skills with Bright Star University. At Bright Star University, people of all ages can log in to learn more about finances. Just choose your age-specific category and pick from a collection of interactive financial topics, including the Visa Financial Football Game, where your team scores by answering money management questions. Just go to www.brightstaru.com. Bright Star University is brought to you by Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. And we're back with more School Duel for you. We've got a good second round match going as Somerset Academy clings to its lead over West Broward. The current score, 270 to 190. It is now time for the final showdown. This is the last round. Schools go against each other again with toss-up questions, but this time these questions are worth 20 points. Remember, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal the points. All right, schools, this is for a spot in the quarterfinals. It is time for the final showdown. Your first question deals with foreign countries. Its capital is Pyongyang. Name this, Paul. North Korea. Gases. It has an atomic number two. Name this, Scott. Helium. Musicians. This 1930s jazz clarinetist and band leader was known as the king of swing. Scott. Frank Sinatra. Incorrect, Somerset. Christina. Louis Armstrong. Incorrect, we're looking for Benny Goodman. Fast math, find 25% of 240. Paul. 60. Spelling, denoting a scale of temperature, spell Fahrenheit. Yes, Anthony. F-A-H-R-E-N-H-E-I-T. Amendments, identify the amendment to the U.S. Constitution that limits the president to two terms. Scott. 22nd Amendment. Parts of speech, what part of speech tells where something is, such as under? Yes, Paul. Preposition. TV. In 2015, its 40th anniversary special was shown on a, Nicholas? SNL. U.S. government, Alexander Hamilton created what bureau within the U.S., Matthew? The, the bank, the National Bank. Incorrect, West Broward, what bureau within the U.S. Treasury Department to manufacture coins and paper money? Scott. Bureau of Weights and Measures. Incorrect, that would be the Mint. The body. Which tendon in your body that runs up your heel is named for a Greek man? Yes, Anthony. The Achilles tendon. U.S. states. The first president of the republic there was Sanford Dole, a cousin of a famous pineapple plantation owner. Name, Christina? Hawaii. 
death. Thomas Jefferson and John Adams both died within hours of each other. Matthew? Duel. Incorrect, West Broward. They both died within hours of each other on the fourth day of this seventh month. Colin. July. Greek gods. She is said to have caused an olive tree to grow on the Acropolis. Yes, Alyssa. Hera. Incorrect, West Broward. Colin. Athena. Athena is correct, West Broward is now leading. Based on a true story, the recent movie, The Theory of Everything, is based on the mem... Yes, Christina? Alice Hawkins. Incorrect, West Broward. Yes, Nicholas. Stephen Hawking. Correct, water. When it flooded in 1927, it spread through parts of 10 U.S. states. Name this major river whose flood was a cause of a large... Yes, Anthony? Mississippi. Tax math. How much does an object that sells for $20 here in Broward County actually cost with a sales tax added? <laughs> Judges? Okay, Scott? 2120. Correct. Artist. His silk screen of Elvis Presley, dressed as a cowboy, copied three times, recently sold for more than $80 million. Name this 20th century American pop artist known for Campbell Soup paintings, Colin? Andy Warhol. Chemical formulas. Oh, there's that buzzer. What an interesting last round. West Broward, Somerset, great game. Now, this match was very Interesting. Now, West Broward, you are going on to winning with 410 points. Somerset Academy, you're ending with 350 points. West Broward, this win is putting you into the quarterfinals. So great job. And great job to everyone here today. Big round of applause for both teams. All right. This is going to bring me to the Chick-fil-A winner. The Chick-fil-A challenge for today is, drum roll please, Paul. Congratulations. Paul from West Broward. You're winning Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. How awesome is that? Now, of course, at this time, we'd like to thank you, the viewer at home, for watching, and, of course, our sponsors for making School Duel possible. Now, don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv, where you can find out even more about all of these wonderful schools involved this year, as well as vote on who you thought was the player of the week for today's game. But most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel, Thursday at 7 p.m., as Cooper City High takes on Pompano Beach High in the next second round match. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks for watching. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users.